Welcome to the World Tarot. This is the series Divine Masculine Diaries for the 16th of July 2021. Divine Masculines watching this video, please focus on my cards and let's get the most accurate messages for yourselves for the 16th of July 2021. Universe, please help me channel the most accurate messages Divine Masculines need to hear on the 16th of July 2021. Universe, please guide the Divine Masculines who need to hear these messages to watch this video so they may get the clarity they need. Universe, please help me describe the Divine Masculines who need to hear these messages as clearly as possible and uh, help me channel the most accurate information they need to hear, the most clear, concise and accurate information. and. Help me give them any advice they may need at this time. God, Goddess, my higher self, please help me give people the most accurate and useful information here. And any advice they might need. So let's describe the Divine Masculines who need to hear these messages. Who are the Divine Masculines that these messages are for? Let's describe the divine masculines these messages are for, please. Let's describe the divine masculines these messages are for. And then let's describe their situation, whoever they're dealing with, whatever they're dealing with. What is the outcome and any advice? that the universe has for divine masculines oh my god when i did the divine feminine reading my eardrum was it's like someone was playing the drums on my eardrum and now it started again but just a little bit so yeah it's not that bad but it stopped completely i swear to god uh the whole time i did the divine feminine diaries reading my eardrum was doing this boom, 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 boom. Like I had a heartbeat on my ear. Like someone was playing the drums or playing the Morse code on my ear. But unfortunately, I don't know Morse code. Maybe I need to, to, to learn it because it looks like that's how I'm getting messages now. Anyway. Okay. Ten of Swords. There's been an ending, a painful ending here. Maybe in a relationship, a relationship could have ended here with the 10. 10 makes me think of like a marriage or something, family unit. Five of Swords, Reverse Six of Pentacles. There could have been a lot of arguments in the past. There could have been some kind of a particular event possibly that ended this. Someone may have wanted to win at all costs and they kind of like ruined the whole relationship. It could be. And... Um, it could be that both people had an equal um, a port here. Why did I? I don't know. That's what I wanted to say. Uh, I had issues expressing myself again the last couple of days. So both people were probably equally to blame for this ending. Could be. Okay, so... Let's describe the Divine Masculines who need to hear these messages more. What else do we need to know? Uh, it could be, of course, it could be someone who has lots of air in their chart and some earth. Or it could be someone who's very into, concerned more with like reason and logic and 3D things, things that are tangible, things that they can understand. Okay, Two of Pentacles came out too. This could be a person who is trying to be more balanced with the Six of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles here. They could be trying to, to balance out like their more masculine side with their more feminine side. I keep getting this very balanced kind of energy for the Divine Masculine readings in the past kind of like five or six readings even. It's It's been like... A, I, I, at first it appeared in the Divine Feminine reading but... I feel like this is coming up in both masculine and feminine readings because of this person being very balanced. 
Okay, it could also be like I mentioned in another video. I feel like more and more feminines are going to be resonating with uh, like the masculine side of things because they're embodying a more masculine energy in order to kind of like get things done, to be honest. Okay, so Ten of Wands. Someone wants to drop certain burdens here. Because even if there was an ending, it feels like someone's been trying to balance themselves out ever since this ending happened and um, they could be very burdened by juggling a lot of responsibilities and they need to drop some of these responsibilities it could be that someone's health is in in danger because of maybe overworking themselves also or giving too much to too many people and some kind of um situation where there's a lot of conflict okay six of cups reversed with the queen of cups so it could be that the masculine is still stuck on someone from their past someone they loved a lot or who loved them a lot it could have been a very mutual thing here and um they're still burdened by this love that they feel they or this connection they feel with this feminine Right, so the feminine is on the masculine's mind right now. Okay, so, but she's coming up kind of like as a burden to him. Or his burden by his passion and love. Three of cups, maybe the masculine here wants to reunite with the feminine, could be. He's holding on to her still. Even though there has been a very painful ending between the two of them. Nine of Pentacles, Four of Cups. Someone is independent now. They could be rejecting. Maybe the feminine's rejecting the masculine now. She's standing in her power. Or it could be that the masculine rejected the feminine in the past, but they're still holding on to her energetically. Okay, so... Does the masculine intend on going towards the feminine here? Does the masculine intend on going towards the feminine here? Oh my god, too many things here. Seven of Cups is like fantasizing, right? Then you've got the fool doing something, taking action. Eight of Cups reverse to come back towards someone that they left in the past. Eight of Wands reversed and there's no communication here. But the masculine wants to move into calmer waters because he does love the feminine. He sees her as his counterpart. But they don't feel very that they'll have a lot of success here in this situation. The masculine doesn't feel like they're going to have a victory in here. If they go towards the feminine, it could be that. And maybe they're leaving their ego behind. Maybe they're stepping over their own ego so they can have the Ten of Cups too. And to work together. Right? They, I feel like, yeah, I don't think this is a toxic ego we're talking about with the Six of Wands reversed. I think like the, the masculine is kind of like getting over his ego. The ego is in the reverse. Because the Six of Wands is, for me, it's kind of like an egoic card. It's about victory. It's a Leo card. It's about someone who's very proud of themselves. So maybe they're kind of putting the pride down a little bit because they want to be happy rather than right, maybe. Could be. Queen of Wands. Also, they, they possibly see the feminine as very attractive. They could be very attracted to the feminine here. There could be some kind of possessiveness, some kind of really strong... With the Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands here, I'm getting a little bit of a devil kind of energy and the six of pentacles too because in the six of pentacles with that got that guy who's giving to two people and I'm thinking about kind of like the devil is also like holding to on to the two people there so a bit with in on this row I'm getting a, a lot of like very powerful attraction earth and fire here 
hot as hell. <laughs> okay, what else do we need to know here? Is it safe to go towards the feminine here? Can you go towards the feminine now? Divine Masculine, if you're watching and you want to go towards the feminine, should you go towards the feminine? Seven of Pentacles reverse is like, stop waiting, I guess. Because Seven of Pentacles is like waiting for something to grow, for something to manifest, for something to come together. So it's stop waiting because it's in reverse. Yes, Ace of Pentacles, go there very kind of like, but go very stable with a stable offer with something because that's what you seem to be wanting here so then go ahead and make the offer that you want to make the gesture two of wands could be like make a plan or even travel maybe travel plans if they're at this eight of swords eight of pentacles the full reversed it's like, this is a bit of a warning not to be foolish and don't get stuck in your head about it too much. Don't overthink, don't overdo it. And don't, don't be foolish, don't, don't try to, don't try to rush anything when it comes to, you see the full reverse came on top of this energy that I called devil energy earlier. So don't try to do this don't go on this route don't try to have sex quickly or something like that that's kind of like a warning here okay right and don't stay too much stuck on what happened in the past here just try to work on something and manifest something better here okay so how will the feminine receive you if you go towards them Ooh, King of Wands, Ace of Cups, that came out quickly and it's very positive. Like, they do see that you are counterparts, right? And they do love you. They have a lot of love for you. It's very intense kind of energy with the Ace of Cups here. Wow, wow, look at that. I just flipped, uh, I just tried to shuffle a bit more and these came out together. It's like it will help you get over the heartbreak. Both of you will get over or, or they will get over the heartbreak and the pain here with the Three of Swords reversed. And they'll want, they'll, they'll be happy for this union. They'll be celebratory. They'll be, you know, they'll be ready to marry you on the spot there. Oh my God. Okay, so there you go. Oh my god, tower moment. Some stuff fell. Oh my god, everything's falling on the floor. Yeah, the, it, it might be shocking. There might be like... It, it will be very shocking for them, but um, it's a good shock, okay? So, let's see. When... Okay, so then if you start a relationship, how will it, will it be like? Let's ask a few... I'm, I'm a bit nervous now to ask anymore because sometimes it goes really haywire. Like the reading goes nuts if I start to ask too many questions. But you know what? I've, like I've been telling people before, we need to ask the right questions to make sure that we know what we're getting ourselves into. So it's important to ask a lot, a lot of questions and that, that's good for our day-to-day -day lives in general, not just for the readings here. Okay, so how will this relationship be like when... Oh my God, Seven of Wands. That's kind of like being guarded, right? It's like being... It could be like seeing things from a higher perspective, but it's kind of a two-edged sword for me. It, it could be good or it could go either way, to be honest. Okay, so how will this relationship be like? You might need to defend the relationship in front of others also. How will this relationship be like? Let's get more information on how this relationship will be like. It could be very guarded at first. Because maybe the feminine will be... Uh, uh, no, the feminine will look... The, the way the feminine will receive you is very good actually. Okay, the fool, the queen of swords, the ten of wands. So things might move quite quickly, but they could also quickly reach um, some kind of issue that needs to be dropped, like a burden will come here. So what's the burden exactly here? 
could be the feminine might be this could be like the masculine and the feminine could be super guarded towards the masculine and um, she might feel like it's it's a burden this okay queen of wands came out now so there is a lot of passion here and the burden could be the passion but the burden could also be the pain that has been here so it's a bit like a trauma bond a bit a bit okay so is there love is there gonna be love in this relationship because we've got only swords and wands here so is there gonna be love in this relationship if you come together also it could be that someone needs to leave someone else that's another possibility with the queen of swords here six of wands reverse no victory queen of cups okay so the queen of cups is here too but there are three queens in here so are there going to be any third parties what's happening here the six of wands reversed we got the six of wands reversed and i was thinking that this is like someone getting over ego their ego in order to be more in their heart space okay so how will the masculine feel in this relationship let's ask separately how will the masculine feel in this relationship and then i'll ask how the feminine will feel how will the masculine feel in this relationship how will the masculine feel in this relationship two of wands well they will feel like stable right they will feel like making plans like for the future um they might like to travel with the feminine too to have fun with the feminine right so the fem masculine will feel good how about the feminine how will the f the feminine will feel also celebratory like the three of cups like it's uh but like i was talking about for third party situation i was talking about being having three queens here maybe the both of you will embody this energy of these three queens i don't know um it looks like the feminine will be happy because three of cups is it looks very happy card right is there gonna be any third party in here is there gonna be a third party in here is there gonna be a third party in here is there gonna be a third party influencing this situation in any way my, my ear is started making that noise again it, it only made it the this at the beginning and now it's again king of cups no there's no third party there's a lot of love here it's just the two of them and they're having fun together okay fine will this relationship will this relationship stand the test of time Will this relationship stand the test of time? Five of Swords reversed. Th there won't be arguments, like there won't be uh, problems. It won't change, basically. So the Five of Swords is in reverse. Number five is a number of change, but it's in reverse. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, th they'll stay together. They'll hold on to each other okay that's fine and on the bottom three of swords reversed so they're they'll get over the heartbreak that happened in the past so it's not gonna repeat itself okay okay fine so it's a good reading thank god i hope this helps have a good day take care bye